Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. My name is Brenton, and last time we journeyed through the mountains and also the train tracks. This time, we're going to continue traveling along the train tracks, and as we venture on, I just want to, um... Oh my gosh. I'm just going to show this fight to you because I really, really, really don't want to cut this out. It's going to make my commentary sound like crap. But, um, but I just want to apologize for part 24. Um, I know on Monday I had uploaded the incorrect file. On top of that, I, um, on top of that, not only was the file I uploaded incorrect, but then the actual part 24 that I then re-uploaded on Wednesday was, like, barely 10 minutes long. So I just feel really sheepish, and I feel really, really bad, because I know I do Let's Playing casually. I don't make money, or I don't make a ton of money from doing this. This is just all for fun, and... Even though it is just for fun for me, I try to make this as professional as I possibly can because I want to make sure you guys are entertained and are enjoying yourselves while you're watching me play games for YouTube. So I just felt super bad and I just wanted to offer my apologies for what had happened. So with that being said, um... We're just going to go ahead and continue on after this fight. Alright, like I was saying, we're going to go ahead and continue forth. Um, I also just want to mention that I'm going to... Oh, for the love of God. This is going to be a longer video. There, I said it. Goodness gracious. I can't even begin to tell you how freaking annoying that was. Like, what the hell was that? Uh, North Coral. Alright. Hey, look, it's Barrett. Whoa! Dude, what the hell? Well, looky here. Never thought I'd see your face again. They kick you out of some of the... They kick you out of another town or something? You destroy everything you touch. You got a lot of nerve coming back here. Look at this place. It's all your fault North Coral turned into a garbage heap. Why don't you say something? Jeez, you're being really tough on Barrett. Or did you forget what you done here already? I'm sorry. Whoa. You ain't even worth the effort. Don't waste your time talking to that techno freak. Damn. What are their problems? Oh, it looks like Barrett is coming over to talk to us. Or maybe he just recognized we're here. Barrett, what's wrong? You heard him. It's my fault this town was destroyed. What? Barrett? You know who's responsible, responsible for North Coral winding up like this. Damn, these guys are tough. Get out of the way. The only way we can make ends meet around here now is by collecting junk. Damn. Maybe I can contribute to their economy. Oh, this is just someone's hut, I guess. I wouldn't really call that a house. Let me contribute to their economy. What do we have here? Please buy something. Anything will do. Potion. Phoenix down. I already got a lot of this stuff. I'm sorry, buddy. I feel so bad. Uh, what do you have to say? If you want to survive, then you're going to need some of my weapons. Ooh, a weapon store. Carbon bangle. Ooh, everybody could really go for a carbon bangle. That is going to increase defense for sure. Ooh, I'm probably going to get that for cloud. Fire damage on one opponent. Well, let's see here. I will grab five just because... Five of my characters can have one, and then I'm going to get that for Cloud. So, yay, I contributed to their economy. 
Um, before I equipped anything, I wonder what this guy has to say. What do you want? Uh, what can I buy here? Uh, transform, Maiden's Kiss. Um, there's some okay things here. Uh, it looks like I can do a tell story option, but I'm gonna reorganize my, uh, my team's weaponry really quick. So I will see you guys in just a brief second. Okay, you guys, I am back. That actually did not take as long as I thought it was going to. Uh, really quick, I kind of want to see what this guy has to say. I hear it's a big fad now in the city to get tattoos. Is that right? Uh, sure, that's right. I guess I should get an O tattoo for a poor man like me. O ought to be perfect. Oh no, he means zero. Oh, buddy, no. Don't say things like that. Um... Oh, hey, doggy! Yay! What do you want to play? Um, nope, I'm not here to play. How am I supposed to continue living in a town that lost everything? To hell with the Mako Reactor. There seems to be something very interesting about the Mako Reactor that's nearby and how Barrett is connected to this town. Um, let's listen to your story. Take that road on the left to the ropeway station. The ropeway will take you to the gold saucer. I don't mean much. It don't mean much to us poor folks, though. Okay. Uh, I want to try to find Barrett. Oh, whoa! Nice! I'm here at the world map. Um... I am going to save on screen because I really need to save on screen really quick. And I'll save in that file, perfect. Um, I kinda wanna do some exploring really quick. So I'm actually gonna go run out to see, actually, um, I'm not sure if I should or not. Um, crap. Well, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so, there are some pretty creepy enemies out there, and I just kind of surveyed really quick. There wasn't a whole lot to see or do, but I'm going to go ahead and head over to the road to the left here, to the gold saucer, um, because that's what that one guy said to do. Also, as you can see, Red13 is also no longer part of our party. I decided to add Yuffie back to our party, considering that I had difficulty uh, getting her to join the, our party in the first place, I just figured that I should probably have her back in um, because I would like to play with her character around a little more and we've seen enough of Red 13 on our team. Personal preference. Anyway, um, let's continue on with the story. Uh, Barrett, what happened? Says Eris to Fair Flower Maiden. Sorry. What happened? My hometown used to be around here. Ooh. What do you mean, used to? It ain't here no more. Heard it got buried in just four years. Holy crap, why? How? But how could those people say those terrible things? And it's my fault. All my fault. Ooh, we're gonna get some Barrett backstory? My hometown, Coral's always been a coal mining town. It may be dusty and poor, but it's calm. It's a real small town. That's the first time I ever heard Mako Reactor mentioned since then. What are we going to do? The only one opposed to this is dying. I am definitely against it, no matter what. There's nothing to talk about if you're thinking of throwing away our coal. The coal's been ours for generation, our fathers and theirs before them, risked their lives for it. We have no right to throw it all the way so easily. But listen, Dine, no one used coal nowadays. It's a sign of the times. Hey, wait a second! 
Barrett in his flashback doesn't have a ro has a he has a normal right hand. Hmm. Right, everyone is Mako now. It will be all right, Dine. Shinra Inc. will guarantee our livelihood once the Mako reactor is completed. Listen, Dine. I don't want my wife Mirna to suffer anymore. I know how you feel. I feel the same way too. Damn it. But even so, I won't give away our coal mines. Dine, you've got to understand. Man, that was crappy English. You could have gotten rid of the got. You have to understand. That sounds nicer. That's how the coal coral reactor was built and completed. We all thought it would bring us an easier life. Oh my gosh. It happened when Dine and I were out of town for a few days. Coral was burned down by the Shinra troops. What the hell? Look at all these poor people. All the townspeople, all my relatives, everyone, everything. Shinra troops? What for? There was an explosion at the reactor. Shinra blamed an, the accident on the people, said it was done by a rebel faction. That's so terrible! Well, I guess that's true, but more than Shinra, I can't forgive myself. Now, I've never should have gone along with the building of the reactor. Barrett, it's not your fault, though. Yeah, see, don't blame yourself. We are we were all fooled by the promises Shinra made back then. That's why, that's why I get so pissed off. Not only did they take advantage of me, but I lost my wife, Mirna, too. Oh, Barrett. Hey, everyone, if you want to go to the Gold Saucer, hurry and get on. Ride the ropeway? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's get on. Dine was my best friend. We were close ever since we were kids. What happened to him, though? I never knew. Barrett never said a thing. I'm not sympathizing with Barrett. He never should have trusted Shinra Inc. Damn, Yuffie! Cold, heartless bitch! We better go on. Maybe... Maybe I should have not gotten Yuffie. I don't particularly... Like... What the hell? Uh, okay, wow, this is a super extravagant place. Welcome to the Gold Saucer. Uh, thank you. What do you have to say? Welcome to the Gold Saucer. Are you together? A single pass is 3,000 gil, or you can purchase a lifetime path for 30,000 gil. Um, I'm not gonna pay right this very second because I have no idea what's going on. And there's a save point right over here. Um, it doesn't look like we can go anywhere over there. Um, 
All right then. Well, I don't know what to say because, huh? I don't know. I don't know what to say next. This is a very, very, very extravagant place, and I guess we're kind of running low on time based on my timer. So maybe this would be a good place to end a video off. I feel like it's a little bit longer than Wednesdays, but um. But with that being said, again, I do want to apologize one more time for my little blunder on Monday with uploading a faulty video, but I do hope you all enjoyed this one. We got to learn a little bit more about Barrett, which was cool, and it makes me sympathize with him a little bit more. I, like, I genuinely feel bad for him, and I mean, it's that quick little backstory is just giving us more and more of a reason why we should never trust Shinra and how they really are the bad guys in all of this. But with that being said, I am going to end the video off here. So I do want to thank you all for watching. I love the comments and the likes that you give me. It really does mean a lot to me and it does give me the motivation to keep doing what I do, even if it is just casually like I mentioned at the start of this episode. But again, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to give me a big ol' thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know um, how you're liking the series so far. You all know how much I love responding to ya. My name is Brenton. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on Monday for part 25 of Final Fantasy VII. Or, I mean, part 26. Whatever part number it will be. I'll just see you guys then. Bye!